Annapolis will play host to another big game, the 2021 NBA All-Star Game. That announcement came less than an hour ago at Bankers Life Fieldhouse, where the game will be played. Mary Mills is there with what this means for the city. And Mary, Indy has lobbied for this hard for a lot, long time now. Oh boy, they sure have, John. I got to tell you, though, things are just wrapping up here. There's still some people milling about and also fans coming in for tonight's game. But yeah, this is a big deal. The city's been working on that bid for more than two years, and less than 20 minutes ago came the big announcement. The 2021 NBA All Star Game will take place here at the Baker's Life Fieldhouse. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver made that announcement uh, before several hundred people here at the Fieldhouse, including the governor, the mayor, and many other community leaders. Indianapolis has not hosted an NBA All-Star Game since 1985, when it was played at the Hoosier Dome. It was a single game, nothing else going on, so fast forward 32 years, and it has morphed into a four-day event with fan fest, concerts, parties, a slam dunk contest, and celebrity game. And and um, it has also just really become just a big social event that draws more than 100,000 people who pump an estimated $100 million into the local economy. And it's getting worldwide attention, expected to draw 3,000 media folks. That's why this is more than just good news to sports fans. Because just as the players display their talents, Indianapolis will be ready to showcase our second to none hospitality, our venues, and our amenities to the entire world yet again. And I talked to several folks in the hospitality industry, and they're always excited when they hear announcements like this one, but they say, this is different from some of the other events the city has hosted or won, and we're going to tell you why tonight at 6. John and Andrea. All right, some good news for the city. Mary, thank you.